Hey everybody, welcome back to more Skylander Giants, and I'll be your host for this evening, The Reasonable Gamer. Um, last time we went to this weird person's village, and look at she's like following me. Such a creeper. But she installed some guns down there in the hatch, and said, hey, let's go to the, the, the place with the things. So that's where we're going. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna do this real quick, why not? Oh yeah. Tree Rex. Tree Rex. I can't get him turn around without falling. Yeah. Look how happy he looks. Just saying, Tree Rex. <laughs> Tree Rex. <laughs> it's like the Master P of Skylanders. <laughs> hey, hey, ready to drop in on these trolls and take down that force field? Um. Yes. All right, let's do this. And, uh, hope that the stories of those cannons are greatly exaggerated. Oh, yeah, we hope so. But, uh, with a name like Troll Home Security? Eh. Yeah. Ow. I don't know, Flynn. It's a nice uh, castle. Well, this doesn't look so bad. No one's even defending this place. Uh-oh. Yeah, you might want to land that tiny ship. You think these people have enough cannons? <laughs> yeah. These trolls sure take their jobs seriously. Getting to the shield generator isn't going to be easy. If you can distract the guards, I'll go around back. Well, it sounds like you could use a big, strong, and yes, extremely attractive bodyguard. How could I say no? Boom! Fine. I move quickly, so stay close. I'll meet you up ahead, okay? Hey! Hey, wait up! <laughs> it's so cute how you pretend to run away from me! <laughs> oh, I was just pausing to hear the rest of Flynn's speech there. Alright, so I don't think you can go back on here, no. I think it's kind of funny that Flynn volunteered to be the bodyguard when I'm tree like a tree arc. Skylanders yes. of the Night Mountain are stronger in this. Oh, area. yeah. Oh, that Callie. I guess she's playing hard to get here, or uh, at least hard to find. See if you can grab something to take down this wall. Don't stop now. We're making such good progress. I, we well, I just I barely started. Uh oh, sneeze break. Oh. Shoo! Oh man. Oh, that was crazy. Oh. Oh, I'm recovering. That probably didn't sound all that great, but I'm recovering. By the way, I just took down that thing by th Oh no! No! Oh, the big hammer! Yes! I'm actually starting to love Tree Rex here. He's actually really fun to play. Look at oh! One more. There it is. Oh, that sneeze like hurt my chest or something. What the heck was that? Oh, man! Sneezes are crazy. Oh, there's this one person I used to know, and when she sneezed, she actually just said a chew. It's like that's not a real sneeze. What the heck? I mean, this stuff's gotta fly out. Is it even clearing out of there? You're just saying a chew. Oh. It's amazing how some people, <laughs> some people's bodily functions are just strange. <laughs> we got another person here. Person. <laughs> oh. Well, oh they. All right, let's see how this thing looks on. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. It's because of that big hump he has in the back. It's like the Quasimodo of trees or something. It, it, you know, if you could put that thing on the hump on the back, maybe it might look better. Or put two hats on, then it might look a little bit like a camel. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, that's like it's burning my chest. It's the weirdest sneeze ever. Oh well. But a lot of this level is not going to be too bad because you're a giant. The giants just make these so awesome, especially Tree Rex. I love this big hammer thing. 
It's like I don't even have to aim. <laughs> yes! I'm so glad I have that. Yes, I love this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but dang, this is so cool. Alright. Time for a quick cameo appearance here. Ready? From Hothead. And I say cameo because we're going to jump into the smokestack. <laughs> sort of. Yeah! And then we get the Luckatron wheel, which we'll probably never use. It is the Luckatron wheel of power. And this basically ups your critical hit rate. So it could be useful. But in my playthrough, I'm not going to use it. Yes! Oh, this is like the ultimate choppy killer. Yeah. Oh, and I leveled up. All right. So, and then you go down here and you come out. So I'm just going to come out as Tree Rex. All right. So yeah, you come out of this little hole here. And, yep, that's pretty much it for Hothead in this level, I do believe. Which is kind of sad because we don't see a lot of him. So, you know. I, I don't know. He's kind of a hard scout to use anyway. Make sure you fall down here. Because you get another... Link Sapphire! Oh. Man, it's going to be hard to do my grunting with all this chest burnage. Oh, I hope that gets better. Oh. So how's everybody out there in YouTube land? It's about... Oh, hold on. They have to talk. <sighs> Don't worry, Callie. We're here. You're safe now. Yeah. What a relief. Just hit the switch to trigger my explosives when you're ready. I'll try to keep Brain Trust here out of trouble. Brain Trust. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it's about 11 o'clock here on uh, Saturday. And I already talked about this in my ActRaiser um, LP. But... I'm going to start lo uploading kind of like a day early to actually when I upload Friday. This will be available Saturday. So, But we're just going to hit the switch and trigger the explosives. Explosives. Yeah. So, and then you come into this giant minefield. D-Riveter. D-Riveter. Oh, wait a minute. I completely forgot about this part of Hothead. Oh, yeah, everybody's on fire. Everybody's on fire. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, like I said, it's Saturday, April 3rd. It's a little after uh, 11 o'clock right about now. That means in a little bit, I'm about to download. Uh, that's right. Pikmin 3. Woohoo! I'm excited. I don't know how cool it is to talk about a different game in this LP, but... Chompy Pot 9000. Chompy Pot 9000. Whew. I'm glad I missed the other, all the other remakes of this guy. I'm going to light him on fire for now. And then sneak back and get this thing. Yes, look at this big guy. Alright, let me just back up so I can throw it at you just right. Stop following me. Stop it. I want to... Oh, he's not going to let me hit him. Oh, stop firing chompies at me. Oh, yeah. Catch him on fire. So anyway, yeah, Pikmin 3. Digital download. In a matter of an hour or so. I'm excited. I know, there's a lot of controversy as to whether you should digitally download or not, but... Well, we sure made short work of those trolls, didn't we? Good job. Now see if you can open these gates. Oh, I've got this. I'm a giant, remember? But yeah, I so far, I actually have a couple games going both ways. Some of them I've digitally downloaded. Digitally downloaded. I don't think there's anything behind this thing, but I'm just going to double check. I don't even know how I would get up there anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, 
Anyhow, yeah, some games digitally downloaded. Some of them I just I bought normally. Retail, I guess they call it. And have the physical disc, like Skylander Giants, for example. <laughs> All right. And um, I don't know. Pros and cons, I guess. Pros and cons. Um. And you know, I I probably said this before because I. I'm getting old, and I say a lot of stuff that I've already said before. It's, it, it happens. It's, it's an age thing. Um, but when we first got my Wii U, and yes, it's mine, not the family's, mine. <laughs> um, I sure, it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when we first got it, um, the only game we, the only games we had was uh, Super Mario U and Nintendo Land, because I got the awesome deluxe version, because there's no point in the basic version. That's a story of another time. But, um, my kids at the time were three and five? I want to say three and five. Let's go with that, three and five. And, it just, it's one of those things, I don't know if this is going to, I'll throw, you'll see, you'll see. It's one of those things where it's, they each wanted to um, put the disc in, so so they fought over it, and somehow they ended up cracking my Nintendo Land disc, completely unusable. So if I wanted to get another one, I had to rebuy it. Yeah, right. Like I hate rebuying stuff because you shouldn't have to buy things twice, you know. Let's see if I can get these with my blast. Yep, I can. Whoa, I'm getting messed up. Alright. Okay, okay. Stop shooting me, please. Just stop! Stop it! Stop! Um, so I had to rebuy Nintendo Land because it just so happens to be everybody's favorite game. And I mean everybody's. The wife loved it. She's not really a gamer. Both kids loved it, and even I played Luigi's Ghost, whatever it was. I want to say it's Luigi's Ghost Mansion or something like that. We played the heck out of that game. And, yeah, they, my my daughter actually started crying as soon as it happened. So I was like, oh, oh, you poor thing. You broke my disc, and now you feel bad about it. I'm gonna end up dying doing stupid stuff here. Okay. There we go. We're just gonna run and do it. Yeah. Alright. Crush it gonna get you. Crush it gonna get you. Crush you. Crush you. Ow. That's not a celebration thing. No. Alright. I'm hoping these dots level me. These ones over here. Yeah, give me some dots. Dot love. Yes! So, I'm probably the only person that has a deluxe Wii U and a digital version of Nintendo Land. <laughs> oh yeah, just rolled all over them. And then I exploded a lot and almost lost again. <clears throat> and, eh. It's... It's heartbreaking because I know I'm not supposed to. You know, I'm, I know I'm supposed to have a physical copy of Nintendo Land and whatever. But I don't have to worry about a broken disc anymore. You know? I didn't, and, and I'm just going to get more games as time goes on. And, and I, you know, not having to worry about the kids fighting over physical copies of the disc or... Um, things like that it, it's helpful in my situation mine in particular um, likewise I always I always take my Wii U other places because you know my son just can't go anywhere without his Skylanders Hammer it home. oh yeah so yeah let, for, well, let me go get the um, so it, it's very cool to just take a hard drive along with my Wii U and not have to worry about carrying a bunch of discs around. I love it. And I'm, I'm, I hate to say that, but I'm really getting pretty lazy when it comes to switching the discs in and out. <laughs> so, 
I, I don't like to play like Super Mario U as much simply because I have it on a disc <laughs> and if I want to play it I have to go put the disc in because Skylander Giants is normally in, in the <laughs> machine because um, my son again is his favorite game so yeah if I want to play Super Mario Brothers U or Arkham Asylum is another one I have I have to go and you know switch the discs and usually it's like, nah, I'll just, you know, play something else. I'm probably not going to perfect this one. I don't remember what... Oh, I'm sorry, i got to lift this up. Okay. There we go. It's up. Okay. It's up. Okay. Yeah, see? I already didn't perfect it. Because you got to go down this way. And I think I took, like, two extra steps to get there. But that, that's okay. You don't get any bonuses or anything for perfect scores. No. You just... A nice attaboy or whatever. At least not that I know of. I mean, I've never seen any extra treasure or whatever. So anyway, I think... You know, if I had the choice, I would probably go all digital. Um... Nailed it. Oh, treasure! No, 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 no. Simply because of that. I mean... The kids like to scuff up my discs and they don't hold them right. One of them's broken. No one else has a Wii U, it's just me. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, digital is perfect for me. It may not be perfect for you. And uh, it's, I think it's funny because there was a lot of people at GameStop, a lot of workers at GameStop in particular, who try to convince me otherwise. <laughs> because, you know... They don't make any money unless <laughs> I do, you know, buy used games and sell used games. <laughs> so I, I thought it was kind of funny, like, yo, oh, you know, how if you like buy the extended warranty on your on your discs, you don't have to worry about them breaking. No, no, you don't have to. <laughs> There's really no reason to go digital. <laughs> All right, pause to read this. While not known for their sense of humor, Archeans did enjoy playing the occasional prank, particularly in their secret Archean vault of secrets. The prank involved hiding a teleporter under things like pottery and then asking someone to go grab said piece of pottery. The unsuspecting target was suddenly teleported away, giving the prankster the closest thing Archeans have to a laugh. <laughs> so, yeah, we just did the Vault of Secrets a couple chapters ago, and there was a teleporter hidden under their pottery, so that's another hint as to where stuff is. Pretty cool. I like how they do that, incorporate things like that into the story. That's cool. Really. Well done, Activision. This is Activision, or Toys for Bob, or whoever's in charge of doing that. <laughs> Alright. So, where was I? So, yeah, there was actually a Best Buy guy. Uh, more talking. I'll tell you in a minute. Nice work. We're gonna need to find something to destroy that cannon. Looks like they've left their artillery system on. I bet a giant could pick up those big shells. Yeah, I bet you they can. I'm gonna do this puzzle first, though, because um, if somebody's watching and wants to know how to do this puzzle, um, I will show you. Okay? Oh, this one's not hard. So there was a Best Buy guy actually... It, it felt like he was maybe insulting my decision to uh, um, to go digital. And so it was kind of, eh, I don't know. Why are you doing it, man? I mean, I understand why. But you know, the, the Best Buy workers probably isn't going to see any of that money anyway. I don't know if they work on com commission or whatever. And then if you sell a new game back, it's always like, yep, here's a buck. <laughs> a $60 game. Oh, yeah, we'll give you, like, you know, buck fifty for that or whatever, you know. So it's like, well, you know, why bother, right? Oh, crikey. Inhuman shield. Oh, that's inhuman. Can only shield his front. Uh-oh. Well, let me go get this treasure real quick. There we go. Payday. Yeah. You needed that, Crusha. Crusha, crush. Crushity, crush. All right, these guys are kind of tricky. I'm going to try something, though. That didn't work. 
I thought it would. Yeah. Reform. Okay. Oh, yes, perfect. Alright, I'm actually going to go take these guys out, and then I'll come back over there. Alright, these guys throw grenades, so they're kind of annoying. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to freeze you two. Yes. And now I'll come back for you. You and you. Yeah, see, with Crusher, you got to be kind of clever with them, I guess. I guess clever is the word. Okay. Now, make sure you go around this way. Because there's some guy here. Oh, why is he hiding behind this building? I don't know. Get all this treasure. Eh, get the cheese too, why not? Oh, cheese. Well, the good word is you've become quite the Sky Stones player, have you? Well, how about a rematch then? A rematch? Okay. <laughs> Excellent! I think you'll have a tougher time beating the likes of me twice. You know, if you wanted a rematch, hiding behind a building is probably not the best way to get one. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> en fuego, chompy. En fuego! And now, see, I can't put anything next to Enfuego there because he's got you all blocked off. Um, so we're going to put this guy over here. Droll Lance Master. Yeah, Droll Lance Master. Enfuego, Chompy. Enfuego. Um, let's go with the Boom Fiend. Yeah, Boom Fiend it. Right in boom the middle. Fiend. Bam. And I'm just going to skip the animations. They're not really... -riveter. Oh, D-Riveter! Alright. Alright, you want to play that way. Okay, cool. Let's get you over there. Mace Major. Alright. I think I might get this one. D-Riveter. D-Riveter. Alright, and then Life Spell Punk. For the win. Life Spell Punk. Unless he has a water guy and wipes me out. Let's see. Oh, Armor Chompy. That's not enough to take out my drone. Lance Master! Alright. Get me stuff. Stone collected. Cool, I'll take that one. That one's pretty good. Beat me again, you did. Kudos to you. That's right. Hey, crush your last at him. Ha ha! You suck at Sky Stones! Alright. So, before you actually go up here and do all this. Probably a good idea would be to go this way. Okay. And. Where is it? Okay. There's a bounce pad right there. Where'd my music go? It's like stopped. Alright. And then you want to do that. Okay. And let's talk to this guy. Water Skyland. Well, let's switch first. Okay. Now we'll talk to him. Whoa! Holy moly, you're a big one, aren't you? <laughs> I had heard legends about you giants, but to actually meet one here... Wow! So this here used to be a great spot until those terrible trolls put in the big churning machines. I don't even know what those crazy things do, but I do know that there is still some great treasure in there, not to mention my lucky hat. Oh, cool. Alright, so if you didn't see my Skylanders Spyro's Adventure oh, Let's Play. A fine place to drop oh yeah, yeah. Um yeah, if you didn't see my Skylanders Spyro's Adventure Let's Play, I already said that for that. Um This song is actually one of my favorites. It's and I'm so glad it's back because I I love this song. Alright. But there's a couple couple key things that I'm going to try and point out here. Alright, this block right here is special. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. I might be quiet for right now so you guys can hear this if you haven't heard it before. Just enjoying the music. The tide. <laughs> it's ironic you said that. Okay, so yeah, actually, um, 
the Spyro's Adventure version is actually more um, uh, upbeat, I guess. So it might it might be a little bit more lively. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for, lively. Whereas this version is kind of calm and peaceful. I love it. I still love this song. I mean, I could just... If they released a Skylander CD, honestly, this one, and then the Willikin Village song, has to be on it. It just has to. So that's why we push this block over to where it is, because there's a secret cave. So we talk to this guy. Hey, Skylander! Girlfin! Wanna play me at Skystones? It sure beats Go Fish, I'll tell you that. All right, Gurglefin was also in Spyro's Adventure. Fantastic! Here we go. Okay, so now we have our new armor choppy. Let's see how we can do with this. Mace Major. Mace Major. Okay. Um. Um. Let's go with this guy. Archean Jouster. Archean Jouster. Take his mace major away. The only problem is if he has something like that, he's gonna take my jouster. So maybe that wasn't the smartest move. Um, I don't know what to do next. Let's go with Boom Fiend in the middle. I think. No, actually, let's go with Boom Fiend right here. Boom Fiend. Yeah. There we go. Droll Lance Master. Stop putting those guys there! <laughs> um... What's next? I'll put my Droll Lance Master down. Droll Lance Master. It's just like a row of Droll Lance Masters! Mace Major. Oh, please go where I want you to. No, that didn't go where I wanted it to. Oh, looks like I lost this one. Armor Chompy. Oh, well. D-Riveter. Man. Alright, just like last time, I'll zip to if I win, okay? So you don't have to Roll sit through this, like, multiple times. You win. Alright. Stone collected. Hey, are you sure you didn't cheat? Dare I say that something's fishy here? Ha ha ha. Alright, let's get our bucket. Yeah, bucket. Fire sale paint job. Oh, a fine fancy. <laughs> Alright. So, I think that's all that's in here, just the legendary treasure. But you have to be Gurglefin at Skystones to get it. Okay? So, it looks like this video might be going on like a long time again. And, yeah, that's okay, I don't mind. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into two parts again, because, yeah. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end this part. So next time, we do the rest. Bye.